Right now we want to get to breaking news just into the local four newsroom. Michigan Congressman Paul Mitchell has just announced that he is retiring. Mitchell saying that he will not be running for a third term because he's frustrated with how politics dominates policy in Congress. Now at noon, presidential hopefuls are talking key issues. This is during a forum at the NAACP convention over at Cobo Center. The candidates touched on the Mueller investigation as well as veteran homelessness and health care, just to name a few of the topics. Let's uh, listen to what they've had to say so far. We have got to make change in this country, not little changes around the edge. Big structural change. That's why I'm in this fight. As President of the United States, I will step up to our obligations and understand that we need to have a health care system, a VA system, a housing system that works, and especially as our veterans are coming home Seven seconds. With, 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 are coming home with invisible challenges. We're going to sign into law Medicare for America, which means that if you don't have insurance today, you're automatically enrolled in Medicare. If you're insufficiently insured, we'll enroll you as well. If you have employer-sponsored insurance and you like it, you can keep it. It will allow us to make prescription drugs affordable for everyone. And you can watch the full forum. We are streaming it live there for you on our website. Just go to clickondetroit.com. In other news, this afternoon, an innocent man is in the hospital after getting shot by a gas station clerk who was actually trying to shoot a different person, an alleged potato chip thief. This happened late last night in the area of West Warren and Southfield Road on Detroit's west side. And the victim is 22 years old, who was actually leaving when another person stole several bags of potato chips. Well, the clerk fired a gun through the front door. The victim, the innocent victim, was hit and is in the hospital right now. Officers did arrest the clerk and the suspected thief.